Breaking news, John Chapman will stand trial in the kidnapping of Jamie Fedden. He's accused of killing her and leaving her body in the desert in Nevada. A judge in Bethel Park made that ruling within the last hour, saying Chapman should be tried for his alleged crimes. Amy Wattis was in the courtroom for the proceedings, and she's live with the details. Amy. That's right. It was an emotional day in the courtroom for Jamie Fennin's family. When they were sitting there and they first saw John Chapman, they started crying and they were emotional throughout the whole preliminary hearing today. Now, John Chapman, as you said, will be held on all charges. He's charged with kidnapping, criminal use of a communication facility, and obstructing administration of law or other government function. Chapman walked out of the magistrate's office a short time ago. He did not say a word, and his public defender told us outright he had nothing to say. In the court Room, the Commonwealth brought up Jamie Fennin's best friend of 32 years. She testified that she was the one who went to check on Jamie back on November 14th after Jamie's neighbor called her to tell her she had not seen Jamie in some time but saw her boyfriend John Chapman there. The Commonwealth also called up Bethel Park police officer who first responded to the scene. He told the judge there was no forced entry. However, they did find Jamie's cell phone on the counter and then they also found a CIA badge with John Chapman name on it. And lastly, a detective spoke on behalf of Chapman admitting to killing Jamie. He also told the judge he believes an Allegheny County homicide detective spoke to the El Cortez Hotel in Las Vegas, and there are records of Chapman staying there between September 23rd and 25th. The defense did not call any witnesses. However, the public defender said there was no proof of kidnapping when Jamie willingly went to Las Vegas. However, the Commonwealth argues that there was since John Chapman had the intent to kill her before they even left Bethel Park. We briefly spoke to Jamie's uncle, Keith Lewis, as he left the hearing today, and here is what he briefly had to say. But as a family, we've decided that we're going to celebrate Jamie's life privately amongst friends, family, and people that knew her, and not in the public uh, arena. His action speaks for itself. Now, John Chapman's public defender told the judge that Chapman will plead not guilty. He will appear at the courtroom in the courtroom uh, at the courthouse, I should say, downtown on January 28th for his formal arraignment. And as for the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office out in Nevada, they are on their way here to Bethel Park. They're expected to arrive around seven o'clock tonight to begin the homicide part of this investigation and determine whether or not John Chapman will ultimately be uh, charged with homicide. If he ends up being charged with homicide, he will be tried on that charge out in the state of Nevada. Reporting live in Bethel Park tonight, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.